Hey everyone, it's Luke from Weld Pro. Today, I'm here to make a new video based off some requests I've been getting lately. Before I get started today, take a moment and hit that subscribe button under this video. Weld Pro is committed to releasing lots of tutorial and how-to videos to better help you. By subscribing to our channel, you'll be notified when we release the latest content. The MIG-155 from WeldPro is a compact, portable, dual-voltage welder that will allow you to do lots of different things in lots of different places. Something I've been getting asked a lot lately is how does this welder run on 120 volts as opposed to 240? Most of the demonstrations you see me do here are done with 240 volts. Today, I'm going to be running some 332nd 7018 low hydrogen rod. I'm also going to have my machine set at 80 amps. I'll also be using DC electrode positive polarity. The first pass will be run with 240 volt AC wall power. Without changing any settings on the machine, I'm going to switch over to 120 volt wall power. I'm going to run my second pass at the same current setting, but a different voltage. At the end, we'll be able to take a look at these two welds and see the difference between 240 volts and 120 volts. I'm going to go ahead and energize my machine now. Using the button in the bottom right corner of the display, I'm going to switch from MIG mode to stick mode. I'm going to use the larger dial in the center of the display to adjust the current settings. I'm going to try 80 amps to start and see how this runs. Just a reminder, I'm running this first pass on 240 volts AC. We typically recommend having a 240 volt 50 amp circuit. This machine runs really well. It doesn't have a problem with arc starting or arc force. It maintains an arc very reliably. The slag on this weld chips off really easily. The weld came out looking pretty good overall. Alright, that first pass came out pretty good. Let me go ahead and switch from 240 volts over to 120 volts and we'll do the exact same thing. I'm running this pass on 120 volt power. Typically, we don't recommend that people solely buy this machine for 120 volt usage. But if you need to weld something and 240 volts is not available, this is a great option. I did notice arc starting to be slightly more difficult, but this pass is running nicely as well. It seems like I'm getting great penetration and no arc blow. I don't think there's too much of a difference between 240 volts, although, being honest, the arc starting was a little more difficult, but I don't think I would have noticed if I hadn't been comparing them side by side. You can see that varying the voltage doesn't have much an effect on the weld at all. You'll be able to achieve equally as high of a quality weld off of 240 volts as you would 120 volts. Thanks again for tuning in. We love hearing from you all, so don't hesitate to leave a question or a comment in any one of our videos. We appreciate you taking the time today, and from all of us here at WeldPro, we can't wait to see what you build with your MIG-155.